We're gonna talk about six ways to update your social media profiles today on The Journey. All right, Emma, so we're talking about your six tips, right? So why don't you tell us a little bit about why it's important, how we get started with it? Yeah, first, and you can do this right now, Google your business. What comes up? I know that recently I was helping out a place, Rodney's Bar and Grill, and when I Googled it, you expect to see Rodney's Bar and Grill across yeah. all the pages. Food on there, drinks on there, yeah. Yeah, but the brand, the name itself, Rodney's gotcha. Bar and Grill, you wanna see as their website, you wanna see as their Yelp, you wanna see that as their Facebook. But instead, I saw Rodney's Bar for one page, Rodney's Restaurant for another page, and then Rodney's Grill. See the Super inconsistent. Inconsistent, exactly. All right, so once you've Googled your business and you see how your business name is coming up across all your social media platforms and listings, yeah. the next thing you wanna do is actually take ownership of those pages, claim them. I oftentimes will see businesses that, you know, they know to be on Facebook, they're on Facebook, but they're actually on there twice, maybe yeah. even three times. It's confusing. And it's confusing for that potential new customer. So what you wanna do is make sure you're kinda of doing this audit, cleaning up your profiles, and if you do in fact see more than one social media platform out there for you, a duplicate, yeah. merge them, clean it up. All right, Emma, so after you claim your listings, what's next? So now you want to, because you've claimed it, you have ownership, you wanna update the information. Okay. So that's where you wanna make sure your hours are correct across all of your social media platforms. Also be sure to get that elevator pitch on there. It's one of my favorite things when I go to Instagram for a new business and I wanna know, you know, what is it about them that makes them unique? Yes. I'm looking for that little description in their Instagram. Like and my, my favorite is when they tell me exactly how they help me or what they're gonna do for yeah. me versus just listing off just random features or facts. Oh, also great place to add your website. Also any other social links. So you're constantly having a chance to cross promote a customer who found you maybe on Instagram, but right. now you're directing them over to your website or they found you on Twitter and you have your information about your Facebook. Right, because at the end of the day, you the social media is a gateway, right? It's to get those customers, which then gets them to your website, which then help, helps them become your customer. All right, so this leads us to step number four, one of our favorites, photos. Love visuals. So this is where you wanna think about your cover photos, your profile photos, and really, when it comes to profile photo, pretty simple, I'd stick with your logo. Whereas your cover photo, you can have a little bit more experimentation and mix it up. Maybe you want to embrace the summer season, you have a big event going on or an announcement. Yeah. But that is your cover photo on Facebook or on Twitter. Yep. Those are interchangeable, right? They're, like you said, profile, always be the logo. That way everyone can instantly recognize who you are, but the cover photo should really be about whatever's top of mind for your business. Yeah, totally. And then also it's great to just think about photos in general that you're adding. So you're showcasing, hey, what does your business look like on the outside? Yeah. What does it look like on the inside? So step number five, refresh your social media content. And a great way to do that is to have a social media calendar. And we have an episode on the journey all about best practices and the importance of a social media calendar. So the reason you wanna do this, right. you don't wanna be posting the same types of content day in and day out, month in and month out. Plus you're missing out on a ton of opportunities to keep it fresh and mix it up because, like Neely here, because we have holidays, we have seasons, embrace that with your right. business and therefore let it just overflow into your tweets and your Instagram posts, as well as your Facebook mentions, etc. And you can even go off the imaginary holidays, right? Like, I know you know when National Pizza Day is. February 9th. Right? So I just happened to read it recently. There's a I random holiday out there for it. everyone. So if your business happens to have a random holiday, celebrate it, especially on that day. Maybe you can do a promotion. Maybe you can do something wild. But it's a pretty cool idea and really give back to your audience. Totally. And you might not have pizza. That's chill. But maybe you want to do like National Sibling Day yeah. and you bring a discount. Like, hey, bring in your sibling and they'll get 50% off at your boutique. I don't know. Have fun with it. Be creative. But keep the content fresh because as soon as you become predictable, I'm tuning out, right? I can add other stuff to my news feed. I'm going right. to follow another business or just unfollow yours. So keep it fresh. All right. The moment has come. The Step end of our journey. Number 
Six, clean out your social media inboxes. So what does that mean? What does it mean? What does it mean? <laughs> so go in and check out who's been messaging you on Facebook, which customers have mentioned you, which customers are tweeting about you, and answer, reply to all of those. Because at the end of the day, no customer should go unanswered. So make sure you're tuning in and checking out what they're saying, and then stay on top of that. Maybe add that also to your content calendar. Yeah, maybe t carve out some time out of the day to respond to messages, because what was it? Like your customers expect a response within 24 hours on Twitter, less than two hours. Mm -hmm. So if you go days and days or even months, I've seen some businesses without responding, you've lost that business altogether. All right, Neely. So I think this is a perfect opportunity to go ahead, pull up a local hero that's okay. crushing it on social media and really demonstrating all of these six steps. I'm, I'm game. Let's dive in. Cool. All right, so we've covered six ways to update your social media profiles and I thought why not take a little spin online and see a business that's doing this and maybe look for some areas of opportunity to help them out. Let's do it. All right, so we have Poor Joe Coffee, I know you're a big fan. Super big fan, they they make the best coffee and they've got coffee trucks everywhere. Totally, and you know how we feel about coffee. Live for it. <laughs> so here we go, we Googled Poor Joe Coffee. One thing that I like and we discuss is claiming your listings. So after you Google, you see this consistency with branding from their website to their Facebook page, also their Yelp, Poor Joe Coffee. Not Poor Joe LLC or just Poor Joe or the city that they're looking at, Poor Joe Coffee. And you see their Instagram as well, etc. Now, from there, what I like is, so the consistency in branding, their listings are claimed. I did see an area of opportunity. I was checking out their reviews, and as you can see here, their Yelp page is claimed. And one thing that they could do is respond to their customers. They have some great reviews on there. So that's just an opportunity to boost their customer service online when they're going in and continuously updating their social media profiles. Similarly, with any mentions or tweets that they're yep. getting, respond to those. Have you had a chance to check out their Instagram before? Uh, yes, I'm an avid follower. As you can oh, see, yeah. this, we're logged into my account and I definitely follow them. They bust out great content. They have their logo as their profile photo, which helps me identify that that's the brand, which like you said, was a, a big win there. Yeah. And then lots of imagery throughout their site. Awesome and great following. So yeah. let's see, check out some of the posts. You can see that they're incorporating video as well as user generated content. So I noticed with this post here, it was actually originally taken from one of their customers. So that's a great thing to do. And we talked about when yep. with your social media, hey, pay attention if someone's tagging your business, you should repurpose that. Or they mention you, tweet, retweet. And I also love the diversity across this. So you're seeing employees as well as the truck itself where they yeah. have the business that the customers are ordering. This is great. Cool dude, man. Cool dude. And they get photo Killer beard. Killer beard, for sure. Also over there on their Twitter, great content and hashtags being used so they can be found online. Yeah. So they're keeping up with it. It's clear that they have probably a content calendar because they were playing off the holidays and they're posting a lot of great content. So I'm really glad we got to take a little spin online and check out Poor Joe Coffee. All right, that's a wrap. You just learned six ways to update your social media profiles. Awesome. And hey, let us know in the comments below, what was your favorite piece of advice from today's episode? While you're there, make sure you like, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell if you wanna see these episodes first, our smiling faces. But this is the journey. We'll see you next time. Wanna go get a coffee? Heck yes. <laughs>